Are you new to UBC or needing to brush up on your searching through the UBC Library website? To help you get started, this video will introduce you to searching in the UBC Library and go over some basic tips that will help you find resources at UBC. We'll start on the UBC Library homepage, where you'll see four search tabs available for you to use. First, you'll see the General tab. This tab uses Summon, UBC Library's most comprehensive search engine. Summon works a lot like Google, and it allows you to search the UBC Library for resources in any discipline and in all available formats. Summon is not discipline specific, which means that you will likely also want to explore other sources, including education databases or Google Scholar, but it is a great place to start a broad search on any topic. The other three search tabs limit your search to specific types of materials in the library's catalog. For the rest of this tutorial, we're only going to be searching in Summon with the General tab. Let's say I'm trying to answer the following research question. In order to answer this question, I'll search the UBC Library for resources related to digital literacy and elementary school students. I've added quotation marks around the term digital literacy because I want someone to treat these words as a phrase and only return search results in which those two words appear together. For each result, you'll see I'm told the title, the author, the year of publication, and the resource type. If you would like to see a full citation for the item, you can do so by clicking the quotation mark symbol next to it and selecting your preferred citation style. You can find more information about the item, including the library location and call number if the item is a print book or journal, by clicking on the title. You can also see at the top of the screen how many search results your keywords have returned. Summon is really great at returning a large number of results really quickly, but depending on how broad your topic is, sometimes you'll find that Summon returns more results than you can reasonably go through in the time you have for your research. You might also find that it's returning results that aren't in the format you're looking for or related to your topic in a way that is useful to you. When this happens, there are a number of ways to filter your search results to narrow down the type of results you get. All of the filters are here on the left-hand side of the page and can be used alone or in combination to bring you more relevant results. Let's explore those filters now. If I wanted to limit my search to show only books and journal articles that I can read online, which of these filters should I apply? What if I only wanted resources published in 2005 or later? You may want to pause the video here and take a moment to determine the filters you would choose before moving on. To limit the search results to online books and journal articles, I'm going to apply the full text online, book slash ebook, and journal article filters. Then I'll move this slider to 2005 so that I only get resources published since that year. You could also use these date boxes to limit the publication dates instead. Now when you browse your results and you have found a resource that you want to use, it's a good idea to save that resource to a folder by clicking the folder icon next to the title. Note that any items you save are being added to a temporary folder that will be emptied after you've finished this search session. So before you leave, make sure you click the folder icon at the top of the page and print or email the list of results you found, or export them to a citation manager. If you want to learn more about citation managers, watch our video titled Choosing a Citation Manager. You can select a preferred citation style for your bibliography. I'm going to use APA, which is the preferred style in the field of education. These are some basic strategies for starting your research with the UBC Library. For more tips about searching in the library, watch our advanced library searching video, and make sure to contact the education librarians for further research help.